in the Redneck Garage. Well, today is a beautiful day. In case y'all were wondering, I do have my Milwaukee safety glasses. I did get a bunch of comments about that, and I do own some, so I'll be using these today when I wire wheel the remaining bits of rust that are still left on the bottom of the bed, and then we're going to treat this with some undercoating from Eastwood, and then basically we're ready to, I guess, get the taillights set in, make sure that those fit, and then prep for paint on the uh, bed and get the truck started. So I'm kind of excited that this bed is going to be getting ready for some paint. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna look at this and make sure that it's as straight as I want it. Looks like it's bent in right here a little bit. I don't know. Um, well, I do know. I know that that's been in a little bit. I'm gonna have to figure out where that's gonna end up. And on the bottom, there's still a little bit of rust. I've got it treated about halfway. So I'm gonna get the wire wheel, start cleaning off all that. Then we got some undercoating to put on it and she's ready to rock and roll as far as the bottom being done. So here's the bumper I bought for it, and it's for an 89, 90, 91, I think, model. But it's more like the factory one that came on this truck. The, the license plate on it sits back in there, and then this just kind of goes down. So I think with a little bit of bracket modification, that bumper is going to look freaking awesome. I was able to take my Porta Power and push this out. I think that is going to be acceptable. I'm going to do a little body work on it where it's dinged up. But I think that's going to be just fine on that lower balance. Plus the bumper goes over most of it. So I don't think it's going to be noticeable. I did push it out quite a bit. Now I'm just waiting for this to dry up well enough to put coating on it. It had a two-way antenna in it one time. And they had to cut a pretty good size hole in the roof. So I took some fiberglass uh, and glued it up underneath. And that will give me a uh, base to be able to bondo that over without the bondo just falling through. I'm thinking about taking this orange light off and putting it on uh, Jennifer's uh, Lexus. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shoot some Eastwood rubberized rust encapsulator. This stuff works freaking awesome for underneath the body. Now I'm going to use Eastwood's undercoating gun to spray some of this junk on the bottom of it. Alright, so tell me that doesn't look freaking awesome. <laughs> that is so bad to the bone. Uh, Alright, I'm going to let this dry up a little bit. Then we're going to put it back on stands and get the tailgate prepped for the rust. And then after that, um, we can actually start doing some bodywork prep. Started doing the initial sanding on this side and man, does it look nice uh, before I do the primer. And I was fitting in my tail lights because the fiberglass didn't come cut out. Had to figure out all the cutouts uh, using what was left of the old metal. Cut that out. Got the tail lights ready to go in on both sides. So that's awesome. Now, if you remember a couple videos ago, I was talking about the history of the trucks and that the cab and chassis was built in Japan and the bed was built in Long Beach, California. I'm almost done getting the bed prepped. I got to do some primering, wet sanding, and it'll be ready to shoot. So we're going to do the bed separate from the truck just because I'd like to get at least part of the stinking thing done. Still working on the tailgate. And I thought I'd show you this. I found the factory style lettering for the tailgate. How cool is that? That's going to look really good once I get this thing fixed. So after sanding and checking it all out on the outside of the tailgate, I got one little thing here, here, there's one there, here, and this was the worst spot. Down in this corner where the water 
just kind of sat in there. It kind of bubbled up on the outside. If you look closely in there, you can kind of see the green. That's where the internal frame coating ran up down in there. But uh, it, this was all filled with rust. So I've got it all cleaned out. We're going to liberally apply some rust converter in that hole and let it sit. And then we can go back in with Bondo and whatever else we want to do. And hopefully it won't rust out in that one spot again. But for the most part, the, the tailgate doesn't look too awful bad. I drowned the crap out of it. <laughs> I'm just going to let it sit here and uh, do its thing. All right, so I've been working on the tailgate where I treated it and put the uh, rust preventative paint from Eastwood. I did every that where all the metal was gone. I went ahead and filled that in with fiberglass. And then I'm going to sand that down and hopefully, and it shouldn't rust back again in those spots. All right, so that'll be the end of the video today. I'm going to continue working on the tailgate, trying to get that thing prepped out, get it sanded down, get ready to put some primer on this pig. Uh, I'm excited about the progress we've made with the bed, and there will be paint on it in just a short while once we get it primed and sanded, and yeah, there's a lot more to do. Yeah. <laughs> keep watching. We'll see how this comes out. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.